are in the wifey's truck headed to the property. Do you want to be on camera or no? You don't care. Hey there, sweetie, how you doing? What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. We're actually headed to my parents' farm right now because we have to take a tree stand down because what are we doing this weekend? We are hunting in Ohio, so we're going to be taking down our hang and hunt setup with our lightweight ladder and tree stand which is a quick throw up setup so we can throw it up in a tree that we don't have a stand in anyways that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go rip a tree stand down throw it in the back of the truck and then she's got something she's got to do on this truck today which I think is gonna look pretty sweet I've been telling her to do this since she basically bought the truck but she's been hesitating till now she's gonna do it I think it's gonna look really awesome so anyways let's get over to the property let's get to work on taking the tree stand down by the way guys just a quick reminder if you have not heard or if you have forgotten the giveaway for my 2019 Ram 3500 Limited is still live every five dollars one entry to win lmpgear.com it's that simple information down below yeah that's right hardcore off-roading how do you feel about this this is your first time i just washed it yeah well you know what here's the nice thing about water and washing trucks here is you can wash them all you want you know you can wash them again and again and again right yeah and so. to be fair you hadn't washed this truck for like <laughs> two months so it needed one check this out this is where we do our deer hunting back here all this clover and then you got right here it turns to all alfalfa and then you got corn over there the corn's not ours property line ends there and then you got the river down here and then we call it the rock crossings the rural crossing. so she's probably going to want to get out and film some video aren't you not for you not no for you yeah for me i know trust me i know you weren't going to film for me i know that you got oh, your whatever. I still don't bring <laughs> all the time. You got your home videos of them, sugar. <laughs> I like messing with her. Like, I'm not worried about the truck, but I'm a little tiny bit worried about the wheels. I don't think there's enough rock down here to get up and, like, hit on one of the rims and mess it up. But it does make me a little bit nervous. I, I drove the dually down here, my 19 dually, my gray dually. Tons of my trucks I've driven them across has never had an issue with anything, but since it's her truck, it's kind of like, oh my gosh, be careful. So that's what we're gonna try to do. We're gonna try to be careful, but anyways, we'll see how this goes. By the way, if you want a leather patch hat, we have tons of new ones, lanyards, decals, all kinds of stuff. Check them out on the store. Well, we made it across, wasn't that bad. I started to crawl up the side of the bank, and as soon as we got the tires down in the water, wet tires started to go straight up didn't go so well you could see it was trying to use traction control and trying to gain some ground but it wasn't gonna happen so I just had to flip it here in the four lock real quick pulled us up the side of the bank no problem Does that make you nervous yeah I thought you were gonna like hit the front like balance or whatever you call it no it did look like it from my angle I told him that I wasn't worried though because I've taken so many darn trucks over here like the dually. It brought my freaking 2019 dually across there. That thing was <laughs> so wide. It was fine. And then I brought the Longhorn over here back when I had that. It was fine. All my other trucks. So, yeah. Not too bad. All good. Not mad at me? No. Okay. What did you do to my tree straps? Oh, hey guys. You know, way. just up here putting down our tree stands. You know, what we're doing. Tell Reagan when we get back, I'll make her a new deer hunting stand spot. But this one, it's it's a dud. Hunted it four times and haven't shot something, so that's how you know it's a bad spot. Comment down below how many times you think you should be able to hunt a spot before you kill a deer. I think if it's a really really good spot, I'm talking like freaking dynamite. One time you should have a deer down. Every time. Safety first. Always throw tree stands at your wife. Well, we are officially here. We've got the new, not brand new, but the new 22 by 14s and 35s for her truck. She's going to be doing this for her channel. So if you guys want to go check that out, Rosine 24V. I'll get a video of this once it's all done because I think my video is going up after hers. But, um, Here's Nasty Red, if you guys haven't seen. 
new grill, new mirrors. Now in terms of this truck, we're gonna be doing traction bars on it, and it's also needing dual steering stabilizers up front just to kind of help with the steering a little bit. It needs some other components like a steering shaft and stuff just to really try to tighten it up as much as we can. But it just needs some more of those small little fine things to kind of like get it all tied together a little bit better so this thing is just a little more driver friendly. I'm actually going to clean this truck up too because if you look at the frame it's just dirty like it is just really nasty. It hasn't been washed in a while um, so I'm going to try to get in here and get this all cleaned up. Well, I did not get the start up on camera because this camera I always forget. Like, even though I, I've had it now for a couple months, like, I still forget that it's not the same as my old one that I gave to my wife. So, I keep forgetting to hit the record button once my camera flips off. Comment down below, what do you think of the wide wheels and tires on uh, the DB build? Look at those things moving. Like, they play a game with your mind it just doesn't even look right like look at the tread pattern when it rotates it, it, it plays with your head but anyways we're gonna get on the road should be good to go so finally back it's been a couple hours got some other work done that I needed to get done at the house and now we're headed up to Devin's place and we're gonna be dropping off nasty red to get some work done and also uh, he got another truck and I think you guys are gonna like this one well we made it here he's gonna be taking the truck off our hands for a couple of days yeah he'll be all right I told him not to look too close at certain parts of the truck. She's a beaut, Clark. <laughs> no, I like it. It's cool. But he said he's never seen under the hood of this, so exactly. there's under the hood. Right. But in terms of what we're doing on it, well, he's doing on it, it's just traction bars for now. We have dual steering stabilizers, yeah. but there was no drop bracket. No, so. no bracket. Yep, so he needs the bracket, so we're going to have to call it. It looks like the first shin underneath, except it's a lot faster than the first shin. This thing pulls. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to figure it out because I don't want to break it, then I'll have to fix it. <laughs> so, Devin, how high should I make this? Four, six, eight? I'd say 12. 12? <laughs> With uh, the new, was it 30 or 32 by 16s? Holy crap. That's ridiculous. I saw a guy it's on 10 Instagram. 10 grand for just the rims. That's no custom cut, nothing. <laughs> yeah. After seeing Reagan's white truck today, what would you say? Still high or keep it like I would, a four and just wide? This? Yeah, just keep it four wide. I mean, you want something practical like for a four and just stance it out, you know, if you're going to drive it all the time, you'll still be able to hook to a, a gooseneck, you know. But even if you bought a camper, you still hook to a camper and pull it comfortably. You start going up past six. Man. That's what my dad's King Ranch is, except he's just got 35s and 20 by 10s on it, but he's yeah. got a four inch lift on that. And he freaking, he loads that thing down all the time. He never has yeah. an issue with it. You start going six, I mean, like, that's just... <laughs> that's no my point. Longhorn. Yeah. That thing was huge. Right? Now you're, you're going to have drop down hitches and stuff that are, like, huge like that one I have. Oh, yeah. Dang. I like it. I'll have to see what you do with it. Yeah, Devin told me what he's going to do to his truck. <laughs> he said he's going to wrap it and yeah, freaking day, crazy color. That'll be cool once it's done. Oh, yeah. Well, everybody, Nasty Red is out of our hands for a little bit, and he's going to be doing traction bars and a dual steering stabilizer setup. We just got to get a new drop bracket because there was not one in the kit. But anyhow, when you see Nasty Red next, that should be done on the truck because this thing, it, it just needs a little bit of help with steering, and the rear um, sway bar linkage is just shot. Like, it is, like, not even hooked up back there. It's just there and with the amount of torque that truck puts down it needs a little bit of help in the rear end so anyways guys that's going to be it for today's video though i got to get driving here in the rain and that's pretty much a wrap on the day thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video do not forget to enter to win my 2019 ram 3500 limited every five dollars you spend one automatic entry to win information in the description below thank you guys so much i'll catch you in the next one peace mm -hmm.